Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Nikki, and I'm so excited to paint with you today. Uh, so I'm really, I cannot wait to paint the Eye of the Tiger painting. <laughs> It's one of my favorites, and uh, just with everything with the Tiger King right now, we thought it was an appropriate one. <laughs> How are you enjoying your big cat painting box? Um, Art with Heart has been thinking about doing subscription boxes for a really long time, so uh, we thought this was the, the perfect time to unveil it. So thank you so much for being so, sort of part of our very first uh, subscription boxes. Um, I can't wait to, for you to hear about all the other ones we have in store for you. Uh, slime, mixed media, tons of different things. We cannot wait for you to see uh, what you get in the mail every month. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have in our boxes. So everyone should have a canvas. have some brushes like so a piece of paper towel very important you might even want to have an extra piece uh, go grab an extra piece just in case some people go get really messy like me um, a piece of chalk right here yes our paint which is right here wonderful um, some of you might not have one that looks like this. It might look a little bit different, but everyone will have the same colors. Is everyone ready to paint along with me? Yes! Awesome! So uh, here are a few things that weren't included in your box that you might want to grab from around the house, if you have them. If you don't have them, it's not a big deal at all. So first of all, we like to recycle meat trays to put um, for mixing our paint on. So uh, it's really, really handy. Just ask your mom to save you, um, clean you off a meat tray or two from dinners this past week. And, uh, or lids from things work really, really well. Paper plates, that kind of thing. So one of these. yogurt containers, um, sour cream containers, those kind of things. Um, mason jars, these all work really well. Um, we just need a little bit of water in there and you have yourself um, something to clean your brushes in. Um, I happen to have an easel. If you don't have one, that's not a big deal at all. You can, um, you can lay your, your painting, your canvas flat, or you can uh, use a binder and prop it up, whatever you would like. And last but not least, if you're like me and you're messy when you paint, an apron is a great idea, or a shirt that you don't care about. We always say here at Art With Heart to dress for mess. <laughs> all right, so I'm all tied up and ready to go. How about you, are you all ready to go? <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I'm going to keep this right here. Now, um, hopefully in your box you do have a uh, printout of the piece. It's always good to have it nearby so you can keep looking at it and kind of um, use it as a reference point. But I'm going to paint along with you just to help you out a little bit. Now, if at any point you want to stop and uh, keep going, remember, I'm very fast. I'm a fast painter because I've been painting for a very, very long time. So I can, I, I go pretty fast, but don't worry. You can go as slow as you want. Um, you should really go nice and slow, take your time, do your very best work. So when I give you an instruction, feel, feel free to pause this video and just do the thing and then continue. I will uh, make sure to say that as I go along. I'll say, okay, now is a good time to pause and do this. Okay, great. <laughs> and uh, we have a couple things to think about as we go. One thing is, remember, not everyone is the same artist, and that is okay. If everyone made the same kind of art, it would be a very boring world. We would have 
no Picasso's or Michelangelo's or Van Gogh's. We all paint differently and that is a beautiful thing. So don't worry if yours doesn't turn out like mine or doesn't turn out like your friends or your sisters or your brothers or your moms. Everyone paints differently because they are different and that's what makes art so beautiful. Okay, deal? <laughs> So, and then the last thing I have to say is just have fun. Try to follow the instructions, but hey, if you are like, you know what? I don't want my tiger to be white and black. I want it to be orange and black. Go ahead. It is your piece, not mine. And I can't wait to see what you create. Okay, let's get started. All right, so to begin, we're going to take our largest brush that we have. Mine are taped up, so I'm just gonna tape them here. So we're gonna take our biggest brush right here. Boop. <laughs> and we're gonna put our canvas on here. We're gonna take this, open it up. We need our, our black. Now we're all set. We have our water right here. Okay, and we're going to begin with our chalk. Now I'm going to bring this over a little. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our, our eye. Now I like to sort of make it in the middle of the page a little bit. So I, I started a little over. And we're just going to do like a half moon. Do you see that half moon I've got going on there? Okay. Like that. And then we're going to go up. Just like that. Now, if we look back and we're like, mm, I don't really like that. You know what you can do? Just take a little bit of water on your finger or on your paper towel. And you can brush it right off. You can kind of brush it right off if you would like. Let's just start again with that little spot. But remember, it's not a big deal. This isn't permanent. You're going to paint over it anyway. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Now what I do with this piece is I like to mark out kind of where my black stripes are going to go. So I'm going to bring the orange down and mark out where those stripes are going. So I have a stripe coming up this way. I have another stripe coming in around here, just like that, and that goes like that. And I have another one that kind of comes in and up, just like that. And from there, and another one right here. There's another one. my layout. Can everyone see that? Just a rough layout. Very, very rough. Just something to give us a nice guideline. If you would like, you can even lay out the, uh, the middle bit of the eye, the middle circle of the eye, if you feel like it. There you are. Okay, I think we're ready to get painting, shall we? Okay. Now, don't worry if that uh, I did that really fast. So if you need to, pause the video right now and finish your drawing. Okay? Are we ready to get started? Wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to put my chalk down. And now I'm actually going to start with my teeny brush. My nice, nice little brush. Right, like this. Looks like almost like an eyeliner brush. <laughs> so we are going to start with this. We're going to get it a little wet. Whenever I start with a paintbrush, I always get it a little wet. Now, not wet that is drippy, just damp. So how I do this is I put a little bit of water on my brush and I brush it off like this. And then I might dab it even on the paper towel. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that black paint, just a bit, and I'm just going to go over these lines that we have we have drawn, just so that they're nice and visible on my page. So you can paint right over that chalk. That's the handy thing about this chalk. You can paint right over it. right over here bring my stuff over here so I can I don't have to move so much okay wonderful so I'm just gonna go over these lines just so that they're nice and on there chalk is there. Just love the way the paint moves on the canvas. Right. So until you have something like this, now we have guidelines to go by. Now don't worry if you're not as far as I am, I'm pretty quick. So this is a good time to pause me if you are uh, not quite ready. You ready? Okay, let's do it. Now, we're going to go to our next brush. We're gonna go to a nice thicker brush, okay? Now, remember, um, if I say we're going to go to another brush and stuff, you can try it. But if you were feeling more confident with that thin brush, feel free to switch back. This is your painting. This is you. You're the one doing it. So don't, you can listen to me. You can use me as a guideline. But um, you are the one who can make the final say on how you want to do it. Okay? Okay. All right. So I'm going to get it a little wet like before. I'm going to pick up. A little bit of that black paint again. This time, I'm going to go nice and thick. And I'm going to kind of go like this with my brush. Do you see this, this motion that I'm using? Sort of a back and forth motion. fourth motion happening here. Okay, great. I'm going to do that for this line. I'm going to do that for this one. I'm going to fill this part in a little bit right here. Can you all see that? Lovely. Another one over here. Another one over here. And don't worry about making these lines very, very um, perfect, actually. We kind of want that little bit of messiness. It'll help when we are mixing our white on there. It'll get us those nice gray tones in the fur. So as I said, it's okay if it's a little messy looking. That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna go. We wanna be very careful around the eyes, of course. We're not gonna go too detailed on the eyes right now because we'll kind of save that for last. 
make sure we do our very best work. But we're just going to kind of go in here very carefully around these eyes. And see how I just pull the paint out a little bit like that? Just a little. It's okay if you make a mistake. Mistakes are all part of life. Some of my best work came from mistakes. So if you make a mistake, just make it part of your piece. So I just kind of pull the paint out a little, see? And just like very gently pulling it. Everyone see that? Just a little pull. There we go. Now we're going to go with this one. Once again, it's just a Nice pull. And a little bit over here. And pulling downwards. You can kind of leave this bottom area like that, or you can fill it right in, however you wish to do it. It's your piece. And we got that little, little bit over here. Here we go. How are we doing so? How are we doing so far, everybody? Good. So here I'm, sort of at about here. Remember, this is your piece, so if you decide you want to pull the black down a little bit more over here, you can. You can bring this up a little. You can even add another stripe down in here if you wanted. There's no rules here. Whatever feels good, do that. Okay? So, I'll wait till you're about here, everybody. You can pause if you'd like. Okay, you ready to go? Wonderful. Whew. All right, I straightened myself out. I've been bending over so much. All right, now, next we're going to, uh, we're going to be creating the white in between, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash our brushes super well. Wash, 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 wash. So one thing you know when your brush is completely clean is when you can go like this and nothing comes off. Oh, so there's paint coming off, which means my brush is not fully clean yet. So I'm swipe, swipe, swiping in this water. Really good. Okay, let's see now. Oh, still got some stuff coming off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kinda go like this. Bob Ross would say. And beat the devil with it. <laughs> All right. So when I see now, when I go like that, nothing comes off. That is a clean brush, and that is what you want. So now, next up, we're gonna take our white, just just our white, yep, and we're gonna go in between. Be black. Now sometimes. We're gonna get into the cracks here and it's gonna go a bit gray. That is good, we want that. So, because we just put on the black 
and it's still wet, our black is gonna kind of countermingle with our with our white just on these edges. And that is a good thing. It looks wonderful. Don't be afraid of that. Let it happen. So we're gonna kind of concentrate on these edges here as we go. Concentrate on allowing that white to mix a bit with the black, as you can see. Remember, this is supposed to be fur, so feel free to kind of make these choppy movements with your brush. That is okay. In fact, that'll look gorgeous. And it's okay if you kind of go over your black too much. We can always go back and fix that up at the end. Right now, we're just trying to get that in-between tone between the... Uh, between the black and the white. It's okay if you spend the most time at this point than you do with the rest of the piece. This is probably the trickiest part. So feel free to take your time with it. I'm really just focusing on these spots, these, uh, these spots in the besides parts. That's where I'm putting my most, most of my focus right now. It's okay if it looks a little scratchy at times. That's really good to kind of show the fur. we doing so far now remember feel free to ask any questions you want on the comments of the video I will be watching them so if you have any questions I can um, clarify anything you wish uh, yeah. you also have your step-by-step -step instructions included in this box so you can take a look at those instructions as well Some of us learn different ways and that's okay. Some of us learn really well by watching along a video, but some of us do better when we read. It's good to know what how you learn best. Because then, you can take responsibility for your learning. Some of us learn by doing. That's how I learn. I learn by doing. I always have to say, 
No, 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 don't do it for me or I'll never learn. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. I know it can be a little sad not getting to see your friends. I know I miss my family and friends. But I'm glad you're all here with me. And I can't wait to see you all again in our studio. The place feels very empty without you. Okay, how are we doing? I'm just about there. Sort of filling in all those gaps. If your uh, black starts drying out before you get to some of the spots, that's okay. You can just add the teeniest, tiniest little bit of black to your, your brush. And I mean teeny tiny, because if you add too much, you'll get too much black. Black is easily can easily infect the whole piece so quickly. So you have to be very careful how much black you add when you're, when I tell you to add black. As you can see, I'm sort of using a dry brush technique, which is why you can hear the scratch, scratch, scratch as I paint. The dry brush technique is because we're trying to create a furry sort of look. So that's giving it a little bit of a harsher just a harsher look as we go. Usually I'd be painting with a brush that's like a little bit wet, you know? But we want this fur to stand out. So that means a little bit scratchier. Okay, I'm getting really close to being done this part. Once again, if you are not, that is okay. Feel free to pause. Pause and get to where I'm at. I'm gonna play around a little bit. As you can see, it's always good to sort of like put it down and take a step back. So I'm gonna put it down, take a step back. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So here we are. Next up, it's good a good idea to paint your sides. See these sides? When it's hanging on the wall, it'll look so much better if it has black surrounding it. So you can see on this piece here that I have the paint the sides painted. So let's take a moment and do that, okay? You can pause me if you'd like. I'm sure you don't need instruction to paint the sides. I'm not gonna paint them the sides too much, only because I have to hold this as I teach you the rest of the painting. My hands will get really painty. I mean, they'll get painty anyway, but you know. So yeah, what I like to do when I'm painting my sides, just to be careful, you don't want to paint onto the piece because then you could end up with black streaks. What I do is I start right at this edge here and I pull down. So I pull away. If you pull away from the painting, then you're not going to get it in the painting. And that is a good thing. Take your time. Don't rush. You do your best work when you don't rush. Okay, got that? You can pause me if you'd like right now and do that. I'm gonna give my brush a nice swish in the water. Clean that brush right off. Do my paper towel trick. Yep, that's a clean brush. And now I'm gonna go back with the black and just do some more calculated furry spots. Now, 
I'm gonna switch up my brush. Switch up my brush just so I can get nice, nice, uh, furry, fur, fur spots. Give me a nice close up look here. I'm just going to sort of pull away as I go. The pull away technique um, really gives that fur a nice look to it. Might go in and fill in spots if I want them to be a bit more dark. I might even go in, clean my brush off really well and go in with the white and do a couple just very, very smart pieces of white in there. Do you see how that looks? Gives it a nice contrast. Contrast is our best friend with this piece because we're using so much um, shade and tones, contrast is really, really important. So see how just like a few little white splashes there really gives it a kick. You can see that? Take your time. Don't worry about going as fast as me. There we go. Great. Okay. I think I'm almost ready. Okay. How's everybody doing? Good? Wonderful. Okay. Next up. Now I'm going to put this down. So for this beautiful eye, you can choose whatever color you wish. Tiger eyes can be different colors. Some of them are yellow, some of them are blue. Um, I'm going to do a nice blue tone with you all. So um, this is where my... Phew, okay. Nikki had a little moment of panic because uh, she thought she lost the whole video, but she did not. And Nikki is even speaking about herself in the third person because it scared her so much. We are back on track, folks. We are back on track. Okay, <laughs> so we are going to use our medium-sized brush. And then we are going to, uh, as I said earlier, we're going to use our, our mixing plate. Now, if you don't have a mixing plate, that's okay. You can do it right on your brush, and I'll show you that as well. But um, we're going to just take a little bit of white glob of white. Do you see this? Just a little glob. Just a little globby friend. And then we're going to take just the tiniest bit of blue because this blue is going to overtake this white pretty quick. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to, if you can see that here, mix that right on our, our plate. See how I got like a nice, a nice blue tone, nice light blue tone. Wonderful. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. Wonderful. Hmm. So I'm going to go right in here with that in the eye and just brush that in there. I'm just going to start with that lighter blue. Tone, but then I'm going to start adding in the jewel 
little bit of that jewelly blue tone as I go. So I'm just gonna kind of add a bit more blue to my brush and mix it in there. You can see that. That's what you do if you don't have a mixing plate to mix on. You can just mix it right on the page like I am. That's typically my way, my preferred way of mixing is just right on that, right on the page. You get some really, really beautiful, unexpected things when you do that. It's okay if you go over a little bit. We can fix it up later. Google Home is obviously quite lonely here as well. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you've just said. Hey, buddy, do you want to roll advice? Hey, Google, stop talking. I'm trying to teach a class. One more time. How do I turn you off? Sorry, could you say that again? Maybe they won't know we're here if we're very quiet. Sorry, I couldn't hear what you've just said. Sorry, could you say that again? Okay, stop, Google. Cannot take a hint. <laughs> Maybe it just needed a friend. Okay, so there we go brushed in my eye. Now's a good time to take a break if you, uh, or to pause me if you um, haven't caught up yet. So feel free as you, as you pause me, I'm gonna wash off my brush. Are we all set to move forward? Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of black paint now, I'm just going to paint in the eye here. I'm going to paint it in fully. And when it dries, we're going to add the white spots. But for now, I'm just going to paint it right in. Take my time making sure that I get all the spots. Here we go. Just like that. I'm also going to take this opportunity to kind of fix just around this eye and make sure it is exactly the way I want it to be. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna make this eye a little bit, bring that down a little closer to the eye itself. more what I want to see. Go right under here, smooth things out. There we go. I'm happy with that. How are you feeling? Are you feeling happy with yours? Can't wait to see them all when they're done. Speaking of which, I would love it if you all shared your pieces at the end in this group. This group is going to be a community, a place where you can show off your work and see what other people did. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Maybe share your own tips 
as you were doing the piece? Your cool ideas? Would love to see a rainbow tiger up in here. Oh yeah. I mean, speaking of which, we're gonna do a, a we have another piece ready for you in the next tutorial. It's gonna be a big cat. I think it's a liger. To me, it looks like a liger. But that would be great rainbow. Okay, I think we're just about there. There we go. <laughs> you like it? Just getting a little bit of texture in there. Why not, right? It's my piece, I can do what I want. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wash up my brush. We are really close to done our very first painting. I'm so excited. Okay wash off my brush here. Now I'm just gonna take, I need a nice clean brush for this, and I'm gonna take a glob of white, just a glob, a little bit of a glob. Usually we don't go with globs, but for this we will, because it's not quite dry. You, on the other hand, you can wait, you don't have to rush, you can uh, pause, give it five minutes to make sure this is nice and dry, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it, because I can. So I'm just gonna take white. I'm going to make one pretty big circle right in here. Spread it out. There we go. There's that. And then another one just underneath, a nice smaller one. Just like that. <laughs> what do you think? Or I'm at. <laughs> All right. And the very last thing, you can go over everything, make sure all your details are there, everything's the way you want it to be. But then the very last thing is to, going to be to sign your name at the bottom. Or really wherever you think is appropriate. It's your piece, not mine. So I'm going to sign my name right here in the corner okay. using my small brush and see right there just your initials is fine okay we are done <laughs> everyone give yourselves a round of applause A good song to put on right now is Eye of the Tiger. It's the eye of the tiger. Yes. All right. How was that? I hope everyone um, had a fabulous time with me. I know I had such a blast. Um, I miss having you all here in the classroom. I'm like, take a look. It's so empty without you. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you so, so soon. Make sure you all take very good care of yourselves. Do your social distancing, stay safe um, until we can all be together again. Okay, much love everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.